subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Apart from the SARS-CoV-2 virus, there are six other coronaviruses that also infect humans which we are aware of and hundreds of others that infect animals or birds. In this video, we're going to take a look at what coronaviruses are, what kinds circulate among humans and if any of them have vaccines. My name is Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. Coronaviruses are a family or group of related RNA viruses which infect birds and mammals. They are named so because they have crown-like spikes on their surface that resemble the sun's corona. They are an enveloped virus which means that they have an outer protective layer of lipid or fats. There are four main subgroupings of these kinds of coronaviruses. These are alpha coronaviruses, beta coronaviruses, gamma and then delta coronaviruses. Coronaviruses can infect animals differently than they do humans. In pigs and cattle, they seem to primarily cause diarrhea and other stomach upset issues according to many studies. They also cause breathing issues in some kinds of animals. In fact, Coronaviruses infecting animals was discovered first in the year 1931 when domesticated chickens came down with what was called infectious bronchitis virus at the time. Newborn chicks would have breathing difficulties and would soon die within days of being born. The virus was isolated in 1937 for the first time. Then in the 1940s, Two more viruses, which were first called the mouse hepatitis virus and transmissible gastroenteritis virus, were first found in animals. Subsequently, we've discovered many more coronaviruses in animals. But so far, we've found only seven of these among humans. In humans, coronaviruses seem to primarily cause respiratory tract diseases and can range from asymptomatic to very mild infections to deadly and life-threatening as we are seeing play out. One of the most common illnesses that coronaviruses cause is the common cold, which is also caused by other families of viruses such as the rhinoviruses, for example. Common cold in humans is caused among coronaviruses by primarily four strains of coronaviruses that constantly circulate in our population. Apart from these, there are the three more deadly ones which can cause death in very severe cases. Human coronaviruses were first identified in the mid-60s and the ones that can infect people and cause common cold-like illnesses are hcov 229 e an alpha coronavirus, NL63, another alpha coronavirus, and OC43 and HKU1, which are beta coronaviruses. Apart from these four, of course, we have SARS, MERS and SARS-CoV-2. The 229E alpha coronavirus was one of the two early coronaviruses detected in humans in the mid-60s. It was isolated from individuals who were suffering from common cold. The virus does not cause any severe infections that we know of. Children and older people are more susceptible to getting infected by this virus and severe infections of the lower respiratory tract has only been observed in immunocompromised people such as those who have cancer or are suffering from HIV AIDS. The NL63 alpha coronavirus was identified first in 2004 when a 7-month-old baby in Netherlands was diagnosed with severe bronchiolitis which is blockage of the small airways in our lungs. It usually occurs in children who are less than two years of age. It was determined that the virus enters its host cell using the same ACE2 receptors that the SARS-CoV-2 virus also gains access to. But after detecting and isolating the virus in Netherlands, it was later confirmed that the virus has spread worldwide. It is still found mainly in children and the elderly and immunocompromised people with respiratory issues also have a higher propensity to catch it. The virus has seasonal incidence and occurs most frequently in winters but in temperate climates which is beyond the tropics. In tropical climates like India, it can infect humans all year long. The OC43 beta coronavirus was 
one of the first two viruses detected in humans in the 60s. It also infects cattle and it likely originated in rodents, most likely a rat. This virus causes the common cold but it can also cause severe lower respiratory tract infections and even pneumonia among people who are immunocompromised. The last common cold causing coronavirus is the HKU1 beta coronavirus which was first detected recently in 2005 in a 71 year old man who was suffering from acute respiratory distress syndrome. We saw the syndrome in a previous video where we talked about how pneumonia progresses to this more severe condition and the 71 year old patient had pneumonia in both his lungs. This was in Hong Kong, but more analysis revealed that the virus had already spread across the globe. These four coronaviruses together contribute to about 15% of common colds occurring in humans, while most others are caused by different strains of rhinoviruses. Now moving on to the three more deadly ones. SARS was first discovered in 2003 following an outbreak in South China. The SARS-CoV virus probably jumped first from another animal to humans in November of 2002 and China had once again got into trouble back then for not informing the world and for not informing WHO until February 2003. China in fact also ended up apologizing for it. The SARS disease was quite deadly. Over 8000 people were infected and nearly 800 of them died. The disease also showed a preference towards men in mortality, as do MERS and COVID-19 as well. SARS was finally declared contained in the year 2004 and the virus is now present only in labs. MERS or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome was first identified in September of 2012 in Saudi Arabia. Most MERS cases have occurred in the Arabian Peninsula. The disease is quite deadly. Nearly 35% of people who have been diagnosed with it have died. It has so far infected only about 2,500 people, but 866 have already died. Outbreaks have also occurred in other countries and at other times. South Korea, for example, had an outbreak of MERS in 2015, which really helped them revamp their public healthcare system and they were thus able to tackle COVID-19 better. There was another outbreak as recently as 2018, again in Saudi Arabia. The last of the three deadly viruses is the SARS-CoV-2, which we all know about and we're constantly learning about, so I'm not going to go into that virus in this video. All these three deadly viruses, SARS-1, SARS-2, as well as MERS, are all beta viruses. Nearly all of the seven human coronaviruses have come to us from bats, and their lineages can be traced back to 55 million years ago. It is thought that after the extinction of dinosaurs, coronaviruses co-evolved with bats and birds. Bats are the natural animal reservoirs for alpha and beta kinds of coronaviruses, while birds tend to host more gamma and delta kinds of coronaviruses. The other group of animals that can spread coronaviruses are rodents, which have been known to spread one of the beta coronaviruses from themselves to cows. After the SARS outbreak, virologists sequenced the SARS virus and compared it with animal viruses and they found that the virus can be traced back to a most recent common ancestor in the 19th century. It is speculated that in the late 1700s, there were horse and cow coronaviruses, which towards the late 1800s had a spillover into humans. There was a flu pandemic in 1890 which we retrospectively think might actually have been a coronavirus instead of an influenza virus. Of course, we couldn't confirm it back then, but there is circumstantial evidence pointing to it, including unknown causes, recognizable symptoms, as well as the timing. The pandemic spread widely because of road and railroads. It persisted for six years, well into 1895, and it killed almost a million people worldwide. It is thought to be the last big pandemic of the 19th century and occurred in waves. As one would expect, there are no vaccines to prevent infections by any of the seven coronaviruses and we'll have to wait for a year or maybe even two to see if the SARS-CoV-2 virus becomes the first one to have a successful vaccine for humans. Thank you for watching this video.